Guys, as always, welcome back to the life of L, which is truly the Scarander. And I see very much a rain team. That's not scary. Um, also see something that scares me, which is Cliffkey. And um, yeah, overall, that could be very, very tough for me to deal with. And um, I don't know, I like this. I like this team a lot, actually. And uh, <clears throat> just straight off the bat, what, how do I want to go about to tackle this? Um... I'm also using a team that was almost ready. There are a few mods here that Eggmoose have yet to finish, so I hope that is not coming into play later. <laughs> That's something I'm worried about. But overall, I feel Klefki is a good lead. Um, by the way, I was pretty short sure Bomba there learned Defog. It doesn't. So it's a defensive variant, and uh, I had a, an idea of using it with Defog, but I guess we're gonna sell for Stealth Frogs at least, so that's kinda nice. Um, Alright, focus. I do want to void off Klefki early, so I'm just going to start off with Arevada, even though I know I'm going to force uh, a, ve a very easy, uh, I would say, um, screenplay. This is a cool team, though. Not not particularly fond of facing off against uh, Rain. That's definitely a lot more that I want to deal with. And also to Alish, as always, good luck, have fun. Didn't introduce him whatsoever. Go against Alish against Xenon, that's actually more... <laughs> better than ever. So let's see, it starts off with Don Gohan. So all of a sudden, we actually have a solid lead in theory. I mean, not really. Uh, uses Protosynthesis, boosts his attack. So now we know about speed, which is way better. Probably don't want to sack play this too badly, however. Um, you should think about that too. He was probably thinking about spinning also, so... I mean, it's crazy, but I think this is my best play. Sunny and Aravada. Uh, or not Aravada, my... Ahem! <coughs> Utravi! And um, let's see what he goes for. self rise Fair play. Nothing to it. This is not too bad. At least not yet. Don't believe I lose anything by going for a knockoff. He could have stone it. But I feel more rapid spinish. Maybe I spinner. And a knockoff. If I can disrupt anything, that would be nice. I'm pretty sure I force this guy out. If not, then it's a waste consider he wasted already his item. Yes, decide we draw. Next level play right there for a cliff key. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna nope your ass. I mean, not really, but if I get likely out of the way, that's tremendously great. There we go. Exactly what I wanted. How high is Klefki floating now? I'm the flying type. <laughs> so yeah, that was a bit of a risky play. I'm not... Like, if he stayed in, that would be just the worst. <laughs> but yeah, now I can easily go for spinning if I need to. As I think my opponent can just go for it. Yeah. Um, in short, there's really nothing that Cliff in theory can do. Um, but yeah, besides reflecting and whatnot. But overall, like I said, I'm not particularly worried, at least not yet. An extra speed boost is not hurting. Um, a bit of a reach going for Earthquake. There's no reason to go for dual screen, though, is it? Let's find out. Yeah, I think I bait in Jardos. Uh, it doesn't say the same, which is fair enough. Let's see what it decides to do. Withdraws Cliff, you're right, I'm just faster, I'm being dumb. Two. <sighs> I mean, this could not be worse though, could it? Absolutely not the matchup I wanted. Oh, I'm so bad, I really do. But that's not happening. Um, it's a tough mod to switch into. It really is. Earthquake is just hurting so badly. Yeah, Utravi again. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the self-right play, I do. But, um... 
I am so scared of this guy. It's so splashable. I mean, it's already defined as um, the um, the landers of Gen <laughs> of Gen Nine. I'm actually fully agreeing with this. A braver would be nice, um, but so would Stealth Rocks. Let's see if it has. He has Ice Spinner. Of course it does. It's gonna hurt. Took it well though. Could do far worse. So Ice Spinner, Headlong Rush. Stealth Rocks. He could have a spinning move. Of that I'm sure. You uh, gotta keep going for Ice Spinner if he wants to hurt me. I guess we're gonna bring in Gilgamesh. Scare him a little bit. He does decide to stay in, so I'm a bit worried. A bit worried. I hope Ice Spinner. I'm worried about... He should have like close combat, something like that. Keeps ice spinning, so that's fair enough. Reflect, we're off. Close combat is going to ruin me. I do not enjoy this guy whatsoever now, do I? I switched in so poorly to this. <laughs> I really do. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Fuck it. Retrovia again. I'm trying to reposition myself in in a scream of help. Come on, buddy. Yeah, close combat. Nothing to it. That's gonna kill. It's unfortunate, but it's a necessary evil, because I'm not doing too hard. <laughs> I'm really not. Alright, let's hope for the best. At least he can't spin. I hate this guy. If I can't get a stick web up, I am absolutely ruined. Probably switch out the cliff again. Oh, to Pelipper. That's not annoying. Come on, buddy. We need this guy to not be able to defog. Let's see, Bullet Seed does. A fair chunk, though. It is. I need like three or four hits of these. Two is not great. I'm going one more time on this. That's not a loaded dice, that's for sure. What Swiss did they have anyway? I know Jaros is a massive evil for me. He, if he decides to switch out, it's to preserve the Pelipper. Which I only believe is his only, like, potential um, hazard setter. <sighs> like, I am not doing well. Klefki should be so solid, yeah. The only positive part about this is that I have like a fair situation against it with uh, my Arivada. I really can't get more than two, can I? Which boss did you have? You had like, yeah, Golduck. Of all the stuff, right? Of all the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Keeps reflecting. That's fair enough. This time I'm quaking, even though Jarados might be very solid. Going for the full screen. That's not scary. We saw dual screen most likely, uh, like Thunder Wave, so maybe Foul Play as his last move, right? 
Or spikes. There's Zax. Let's do this. Withdraws Cliff Keep. Two. Charados. That's not great. That's not great at all. That's not what I wanted to see, that's for sure. Alright. <laughs> that's really not what I wanted to see. <laughs> the question is, after one... As one dragon dance, how fast is it? I mean, it's clearly faster than me. I'm rock tombing to just lower the speed, I think. I'd rather be able to try to stomach this and get the speed down, I think. It's just whether or not these, like, Terra flying and all of a sudden can... It goes to waterfall, that's great. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. <laughs> that's, that's not fair at all. <laughs> oh, we should be able to live that through the reflect. That's not great. Oh, Elish, I'm sorry. That's not how that was going to go down. It was Jolly even... No. Sent out Xenon. Xenon sent out Xenon. Fair enough. That was weird. Yeah, like I said, that is that is not how that was gonna go down. I know that. Um, he didn't terror type though, which I want to keep this guy for sure. He dies to self rock. That cause that's a thing. But he could just ice beam. Ice beam does really a whole lot on my team. Sitting in Arvada, hoping for another surprise. Not a surprise horror film, but rather take the Ice Beam. Ice Beam is safer. Surf kills. Psychic. Yeah, somehow that's way better. Life Orb, right? Rain stops. Now you're a um, sitting duck. <laughs> Alright. So Psychic is kind of scary. Um, I mean, without the boost, though. Not sure Surf kills. Ah, I'm quaking. I think that's safe enough for me. Uh, withdraws, that's fair enough. Goes into maybe... Uh, Pelipper, right? Yeah. Should have thought about that. Should really have thought about that. Um, easiest switch of his life. Can't allow him to defog. Gotta hope the ice spinner kills. Um, stays in, great. It's gotta kill. Right? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> it doesn't make dealing with pellet for that much easier, though. It really doesn't. If anything, it makes it way worse. Or not pellet for, I mean Golduck, because it's back on track. Now with more turns of rain. Never thought I'd see it, say it, but fuck, I'm, I'm fearing a freaking duck. Yeah, I... Like, the way I see it, there is no downplay of not doing this right. It is just whether or not can I reposition myself good enough to make short work out of this. Of that, I'm not sure. I want to keep this guy as well as possible and this Mabel can do things it just doesn't manage a psychic but Arivada is good because of the speed more so since it can't reset yeah I got a I'm keeping speed oops for all the wrong reasons I know that <laughs> I think it's Terra type psychic I hope so at least Please. Yes. Nice, Xenon. I like this. <laughs> it's a question of whether or not how much of a motherfucker will this hurt? 
Horror pumps, yeah. Wow. Not very effective. Pfft, please. Which bond does he have left? Like, do I need Mabel? No. I have a sack player on my hand. I go for Toxic Spikes in case I want to be cheeky. No. Nope. Goes for Psychic. Nothing to it. He's a scary guy. It's a very scary guy if you ask me. I mean, I could... I could go for... Um, I'm going for the first impression. If he says it, that would be so funny. Like, get him, right? Get him! <laughs> I'm fearing the right show as always, but... Thing is, like I said, he doesn't have a spinner left, which means if I go for my sticky webs later, it's going to stay. Oh, he's thinking. He has good switch-ins to this. Unfortunately. But he stays in! <laughs> so it's out! <laughs> oh, Goldak, what a... What a scary thing to face off against. There's the right two. And I gotta do what I gotta do. Hope for a not volt switch. Can you beat this, Chris? This question. You should have surf. Don't believe I can. No, he goes for nasty blood rightly. Let's see. Like I said, he should have surf, which makes it infinitely scarier to deal with. Go for a sucker punch. Yes, he did a side attack. I did alright. Goes for thunder. <laughs> Oof! Oh! oh yeah, that's Sash. I was like, oh, one hit! Nope! <laughs> Just a motherfucker like that. <laughs> I like my right reaction, like, oh, look what I did! <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I want to kind of enforce this. I mean, if the Jarados, like I said here, would not have been critted, I don't know how much Rock 2 would have done, but it would lower its defenses or its speed enough to outspeed the next turn with Breloom. So I might have had that position anyway, but it definitely you know became way worse because of it, right? Right brings in the cliff key. Question is, is this gonna screen up? That's a bigger question. Rain stops. He couldn't run Defa, could he? Reflects. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I am like, fine. You wanna play that game? Let's play that game. <laughs> Foul play. There we go. Like, where were you? <laughs> Alright. Come on, Arivada. Let's do this. So, foul play is not bad. It makes this situation easier for me, but. I kind of wanted to bring in Gilgamesh, but he clearly made up his mind about this situation, which is fair enough. Um. Well, Gilgamesh is my Sitaitan. As I think it would be doing well enough versus the remaining mons. I actually consider a lack of spinners. Maybe I should. There's a lot of issues in that switching. Still though, he should manage an ice spinner from me. Uh, 
and I should definitely not manage whatever he can throw at me. So, <laughs> come on, Xenon, what do you want to do? Hmm. Yeah, that's a reflect for you. That's a reflect for you. Damn. Damn, that's a chunky boy. Right? <laughs> Damn. I actually didn't even consider it could take those hits. Alright. <clears throat> Gilgamesh, it's time. Well, yeah, I'm psychic. I was thinking I was a water. I brought the wrong one. So I guess Ice Cream Crash is the move to go for. Yeah, I was sure it was um, water. Come on, Xenon! The battle is ending! <laughs> no! <laughs> No way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> I missed it! Oh! Alright, let's do this one more time. I'm, I think Fury wins anyway, but since the battle ends, um, we're not gonna get the wrap up. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Go for it! That was not right, though. That was not right! <laughs> Alright! Xenon wins this game, like I said, that um, that's the Titan would have should have been a water, um, brought the wrong one. Uh, but at the same time, it it doesn't matter. I had a blast here, so for all the incense and purposes, and, and plus, um, let's play with the idea that the timer wasn't 20 minutes, and then I would have had this game in the bag. But now it's gonna end up with Xenon winning, and you know what? I am fine with that. That was a cool game. So Xenon, as always. Thank you for battling. It was fucking great. <laughs> if I was watching, make sure to check out Alice's channel or Xenon's. And I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, take care of one. Oh, I should probably just wait to all the wrap ups. I'm like, yeah, it's done. Boop, 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 boop. But yeah, had my Titan been what it was supposed to be, I would not have been forced to risk that miss, right? <laughs> so, guys, always thank for watching. Take care. <laughs> Bye, guys.